Well, good morning, good morning. It's Rach here, an award-winning award writer with the awards people. And I'm joined today on the Sofa of Success at this fabulous venue. Thank you, Cassie and Jules, for letting us uh, sit in your members' lounge at the Queen Victoria Arts Club here on Rutland Street in Leicester. I'm joined by Mr Adam here uh, from one of Leicestershire's top creative agencies, don't you know? But before I get it wrong... I'm going to ask Adam to introduce himself so he can tell exactly who he is and how he does it. And then we're going to have a talk about awards and award entering and award winning. So they've got quite a fabulous story already and it's only been a few months. As indeed. Over to you, Adam. Tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, um, I'm Adam Burridge. I'm the managing partner of Trident. Um, we are a creative agency, as Rachel said. We're based in Hinkley. Um, we work with business, different sized businesses looking after their marketing strategy, creative planning, and then we do websites, campaigns, and then we do a lot of work in the print industry as well for our clients who do direct mail and brochures, things like that. Wow, so just cover about any different platform, but it's all that creative piece that hangs everything together. Correct. Fantastic. So, um, and quite an established business. Yeah, so we are now in our 31st year as a business. Um, I have started very young. <laughs> Not quite. I was I was at the uh, the office quite a lot when I was young, but I wasn't actually doing any work. But um, my dad set the company up in 1988, so um, yeah, I just joined in in, nine, in 2006. So um, quite a while myself now. Ah, wow! So a family business. You heard it here first, kids. You must be thinking the same as me. Oh, that gives us some opportunities. Uh, but of course, there's a lot wider than that. But let's talk about your current success. So I, I joked earlier, but it's true. I mean, it's, it's been a, quite a whirlwind for you. It's not been long that you uh, and Kim, who's the managing director of Trident, have, um, have been engaged in this kind of award strategy. What attracted you? Why did you start thinking, hmm, can um, we enter and win awards? I think it was just, you know, we're obviously in marketing ourselves and you know that um, positive PR can generate quite a different buzz to the other activity you're doing. So um, we just thought that having an awards side to our sort of routes to market, if you like, would be would be valuable to the business, really, just to raise our profile and differentiate us from other businesses that might just be not doing awards like we previously were. So. Mm. And there's a hell of a lot of companies that don't do awards. So even in today's market where you think, oh, well, we've said it before, oh, everybody enters awards. It's like everybody runs a marathon. Well, actually, 0.5% of the world's population have ever run a marathon. So not everybody runs marathons, not everybody enters awards. So when you do win them or enter them and become finalists, it does that. That's a lovely piece of differentiation. So let's have a look at the, the success to date then. So uh, finalists in the National Family Business Awards. We yeah. are off down to Wembley. On Saturday. Wembley on Saturday. Uh, not in your football stuff, no t-shirts overhead. It's quite nice that you can be going to <laughs> Wembley and potentially winning an award yourself oh, no. though, isn't it? It's usually going <laughs> watching cool your that? team. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what your team is, but if it's the, the team for our city. Not so great at Wembley. Not, not, it's not been a great season. To be honest, but there we go. Uh, we'll move on quickly. So that one's coming up. So finalist in, in that uh, in that national award, which is huge, and that was the first one that we entered, and the first one that you became first one to the finalist, finalist yeah. list, which was cool. Um, and then we entered into the Institute of Directors Director of the Year awards in the family business category as well. Now you'd had some success the previous year. Yeah, I, I entered. Year myself did the award um, application and got to the um, finalist stage in the East Midlands but that was as far as we got so um, so you know a bit of an old hand of this knows what he's doing uh, but yes finalist and winner this year of family business Great. for the East Midlands yep. You look shell-shocked. I, I was a little bit, yeah. <laughs> the photos, I thought the photos were beautiful afterwards. They were really I, did, I think I looked a little bit surprised in the uh, in the picture as well, because it was kind of, <laughs> get the award, go and get a picture, and all of a sudden you sat back at your table, and I was, yeah, so it's quite a, quite a whirlwind <laughs> have a, experience. Have a drawn <laughs> Bless you. So, having won the East Midlands region, you're off down to London, back yep. there, London, uh, for the Nationals. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it should be good. Hopefully I can't remember the networking venue. As well. Oh my gosh, yes, it is a room to network, it really is. And use and abuse, sorry, Sir and Ron, use and abuse, Sir and Ron, if there are people there, because they do do a fabulous 
table plan with company names, etc., etc., use and abuse them to, to get them to introduce you. Or if they don't know the people, get them to introduce you to the other regional director for that area, and they will then be able to, because they all know everybody in that room. It's, it's one of the easiest rooms to network because the people, it's all clustered around. Like Stone Run will know all their winners. Yeah. So will Wales, so will Scotland, so will London. So you go, oh, actually, I really like to meet Panama Superstar. Uh, I've no idea what she looks like. Sue and Ron will go, oh, let me introduce you. It's lovely. It's Sounds a great good. room. I yeah. think you'll have fun. Yeah, definitely. And they do do a good bit of entertainment as well. Because, you know, some entertainment that some awards do can be a little bit... They do do a good line in entertainment. Oh, sounds good then. So you might even have a chuckle as well. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of the things I love about the IOD Awards is that if you win uh, in the region, you then go down to lunch. Two bites of the cherry, it's the same award entry. It takes you no more trouble apart from at that first stage where you're thinking nationals as well as you're thinking East Midlands. But it's a great opportunity. And as Adam rightly says, the opportunity for networking in those rooms is just peachy. Where else are we? Niche Business Awards. That's a Leicestershire. Niche Magazine is a Leicestershire magazine. It's a business magazine with a bit of lifestyle thrown in for free. Um, Semi finalist in quite a few categories. Yeah. Then, then finalist in. Family again. Family um, business. So, had the Meet the Judges last week. How did it bit go? Bit of a Dragon's Den experience meeting Ooh. everyone, but it was quite good. I felt like we covered all their questions. So, How um, many judges? I think there was five in the room. I can't remember now. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a good, good Having experience. a long time, what, was it 10 minutes or something? I think we were in there 15, maybe oh, 20 minutes. Okay, right, so, cool. Yeah, it's good. Just you or did? Kim came along as well, so we both ah. sat there and sort of double teamed the action on that one. Brilliant. So, yeah, it was fun. Brilliant. Well, being family, take the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So did you have to present or was it just questions? Uh, just, it was just questions, he says. It was a quick opener just to introduce who we were and why we should win and then they just fired different questions at us. So, um, yeah, so it was quite a, oh, an well interesting done experience. Because that's the first time you've been in front of judges? Yeah, we've never done anything like that before as well. Okay, I lose track because IOD used to do judges and now they don't. They do everything from the portal. Um, National Family, I know, don't, but it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah. It's certainly extending you in all different areas. I know you present, of course you do, you present to clients all the time, etc., etc. but some people have said to us, it's a different feeling because, you know, it, these are judges, whereas that's a pitch to a client or a potential client. It still has a slightly different feeling to it. Yeah, I think so, because you kind of, when you go to pitch to a client, you kind of know what they're expecting to ask you and you, you're going to reply to them whereas you go into a room of judges and they've got their questions that they're going to just fire at you and you kind of need to know you know your stuff which thankfully we did well it's your business at the end of the day if anybody knows that business it's you guys where else are we at so that's iod national family business niche awards oh we've just entered you into netwest great british entrepreneur awards so that's literally just gone in though, so we're, we're, we've got our fingers crossed. Yeah. Can we make four out of four for finals? That would be good. <laughs> don't know, have we just uh, you know, tipped the old uh, weights against us by saying that? I don't know. But one of the things we were talking about before we came onto camera was family business is great, great awards, but you were saying that you've had a top level team talk with your fellas in the office about them going, well, can we put some of our work in? Yeah, it's more the um, sort of creative team. They were kind of saying, well, you know, can we, this is good, it's family business, it's great for sort of promotion and, uh, and that kind of thing, but can we enter some of our work that we've done? So I think that might be a sort of next attack that we Brilliant. think about because, you know, the guys in the office, we, we win the award as family business, but they're still doing the work and we wouldn't win it without them. So I think for them to get a bit of recognition for stuff they've done as well would be uh, would be really good cool so let us get together and have a meeting at some point don't know when you're on your holidays but let me know when you're free and we'll have a sit and you can show me some of the work um, and then i can go off and find categories and awards that, that will let that shine i think that's a great idea yeah, cool okay sounds good <laughs> so um apart from that next stages for you guys how are you utilizing your award wins at the moment um well we're going to do a pr piece so we thought we'd wait because we've got two that are quite close together in yes. terms of finals so if we if we're successful on saturday we've got two bits to write about if we've not we've got sort of um a finalist and an award anyway so Can't we're going to put that out and you use that as uh, as good content um just general linkedin sharing on our own channels on uh, on on social media facebook that's gone really well just in terms of people hearing about us and you know just getting general more people wanting to connect with you on linkedin just because of that yeah. buzz has been uh, it's been quite good so I think nice that's engagement already sort of, pieces as well yeah exactly yeah and then we've um yeah we've put out our own blog and things at the moment so that's pretty much it and i think also did i see on your email footer that you've got i've put the winner on yeah <laughs> why the hell wouldn't you 
No, exactly. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. I love it. I love seeing that when clients send it back and it's got the winner on there. Because uh, even though uh, John Fennell was highly commended in innovation, um, he's got that on his foot. It's something to be proud of. Yeah, definitely. This sort of spurs a bit of a talking um, thing with clients as well. If they see it, they might ask why, when they email you back. So what's that all about? Yeah. So, um, well, especially with some of your clients, that you, I think you and Kim were telling me last time we spoke that you've worked with some clients for a a very very long time and they obviously are working with you because you're darn good at what you do but again it's just that little refresher of a conversation a new talking point isn't it yeah and we've had some clients just email out of the blue and say you know thank, really good to see you've won but that's just a reflection of what you guys are like to work with so um, it's nice that they've picked up on it and then got back in touch as well Ooh, so. I might have to nick those comments from you a good testimony always uh, adds value into any yeah, you uh, can award have if you want. <laughs> fabulous I shall be ploining those from uh, you uh, Adam and Kim on those ones. Um, so, in terms of moving forward, we've kind we've got a plan of, of the, the the business focused ones. We're going to have a conversation about what that uh, creativity looks like, and we'll find some more awards for that. I think we need to invite you back when we've had that conversation, and perhaps flash up some of those creative pieces. Yeah. Um, and the awards that we've got on, just to help viewers understand the kind of, that kind of a process as well, because there's. When we did the research for you in the first instance, there were so many, as you know, you're in the industry, so many different awards, whether it's for print, digital, um, uh, full service, creative. There, there's literally an award almost a week for you guys. So it's that pulling out of the ones that you think you stand a really good chance at, the ones that would make a difference to your business and for your clients to kind of go, Ooh, yeah, they're a blah, 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 finalist in. XYZ award. It's yeah, those that'd ones be really that good, definitely. So I think um, the there's other ones where you can enter the client as their campaign as well, can't you? So they can win as the client and then we can win because we did the work. So we can, Really, uh, really good strategy and a great strategy for building even firmer relationships with your clients as well. I've got one client who works in health and safety. He doesn't enter on himself with himself at all because it's all project based. So it's all client first with a, possibly a couple of lines about we work with this supplier doing this one, X, Y and Z. He pays for the awards. He gets the permission from the client. I write the awards for him. They go off to client for approval. And they, they have a great uh, success tra track record. But when it comes to renewing the next 12 month client contract, he's not lost a client yet. I can imagine. Because, <laughs> you know, they're proud to be a winner, let alone a finalist. Uh, sorry, be a finalist, let alone a winner. Um, they've done something, they've had something written, but, you know, it's, it's taken them possibly an hour to go through check and proof, but, but it's not taken them any more than that. Um, and, yeah, it just strengthens those relationships. So he uses it in a very canny way. None of my other clients use it quite in such a way. But yeah, every now and then we do have clients who'll say, can you write this from this point of view with us mentioned in it as the supporting piece? So it's, yeah, it's a clever way of doing it. Yep, sounds good. Fabulous. So you got your kit all ready for Saturday then? Is it a black tie do? Yeah, it is, yeah. So um, the tuck's coming out I, again? It is, yeah. Just have to make sure wipe off the uh, Jägermeister stains um. <laughs> <laughs> from the last time because the IOD one was a lunchtime one so it was, it was a yeah, bit more, bit more uh, casual than, uh, than a formal evening do. Do men panic as much as women do about what to wear for these things? I don't have to worry about it at all because it's exactly the same outfit every time. <laughs> and also you're as cool as a cucumber anyway I have a feeling that not much gets you kind of <laughs> but I'm cool and fairly calm. relaxed. <laughs> Cool, so let's go on to our top three questions then. Okay. Now, as you are an award winner, you'll be au fait with this whole process. We're playing Let's Pretend. You're at an awards do. You're at your table. You're fi finalist in a category. Pam Ma, superstar, is on the stage. She's For some reason, she's announcing the uh, winners for this category. I'm at the bar. <laughs> Not a word. Uh -huh. um, Pam Ma says, and the winner of this award is... And it's you. Do you high five or bear hug the people on your table who, yes, are known to you? High five, definitely. High five? Yeah, I would say, yeah. You go up onto the stage. Do you uh, take the team with you or do you go up on your own? Take the team. Take if we the took team. the team to the event, we'd all go up, definitely. Brilliant. How are you doing it for niche? Are you taking a team uh, Yeah, we're niche? taking some of the team down for that. Fabulous. So we've taken the team up. We've high five, taken the team up. I'm at the bar, that's right, lurking. Adam, you've won. Champagne or Prosecco? Now think, my friend, there's no right answers on this, but think before you answer. 
Is it champagne or is it Prosecco? Champagne. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> three out of three. Oh. Get in. Pam Moss, superstar. She won last month with Prosecco. She's the Prosecco princess. Uh, I like champagne. I think champagne for celebrations. I, I think, think uh, so. Warming up for drinks before you go out, maybe Prosecco. But you see, you had me worried with the Jaeger bomb. Yeah. Comment. I thought I thought we were going to go off piece, didn't you? I thought we we're going to have a Red Bull and blah or a Jaeger bomb or something like that. But um, champagne, marvellous. Well done. Thanks very much. It just goes to show you. See, there's no right answer, Pam. I think it's actually subliminal because of the champagne. I don't even know. I don't actually. know what you mean. I've just worked out now that you're actually cheating with every <laughs> single one of these. I like cheating, Pam Moss, superstar. Yeah. <laughs> That's outrageous accusation. It's um, it's 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 just how it was set up, people. Mm -hmm. Right. Good luck for Saturday. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to come back once we've got some of the creative pieces in because I think that would be awesome. It would also be a great, great demonstration for the kids at home to see what you do Sounds and good. how you do it. Yeah, and then, uh, um, yeah, just hopefully we can have a bit more news for next time as well that we've won well, a few more awards, yeah. maybe. So. <laughs> you see, get them on early. What happens? <laughs> no, no, three finalist positions. That's not nearly enough. <laughs> Well done. I'm really, really chuffed for you. Yeah, um, thanks very much. IOD, fantastic that you're down in London. Have a great work of that room. I know you will. I've seen your network before. It's like poetry in motion. And he's off. So uh, I expect you to come back with some business from that. We will see you for another masterclass in how to do it, friends, next week. Until then, I shall say thank you to Adam. His contact details are going to be flashed up. So if you are in the market, or even if you're not in the market, but you think you should be in the market for a creative agency, look no further. Have a chat with my chum. Uh, and if he's not busy tuxedoing and drinking champagne at an awards do, he'll return your call very quickly. Um, until then, we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>